The Georgia election workers who won a defamation suit against Rudy Giuliani will soon get control of his Manhattan penthouse apartment, as well as many of his valuable possessions. Channel 2's Wendy Caron is live in the Satellite News Center with details on this ruling by a federal judge. Wendy, these items and this all stems from the false claims made after the 2020 election. That's right, those defamation claims. And just last year, Giuliani was ordered to pay nearly $150 million to Shea Moss and Ruby Freeman for lying about their activities during the 2020 presidential election. Well, a judge ruled today the former New York City mayor needs to hand over his most valuable possessions in just a matter of days. Call me screaming at the top of her lungs like Shay, Shay, oh my gosh, Shay, just freaking me out. That was Shay Moss in an appearance before the January 6th committee. She said her life and her mother's were both turned upside down after Rudy Giuliani singled them out and accused them of tampering with ballots counted at State Farm Arena in the 2020 election. Ruby Freeman described how she was advised by FBI agents to move out of her home in order to stay safe. They did not want me to be at home because of all the threats and everything that I had gotten. They didn't want me to be there in fear of, you know, the people would come into my home. The two women won a defamation judgment against Giuliani last year, and he was ordered to pay them nearly $150 million. On Tuesday, a federal judge ordered Giuliani to turn over all of his valuable possessions to Moss and Freeman, and that includes his Manhattan penthouse, his furniture, a collection of watches, sports memorabilia, including a signed Joe DiMaggio jersey, and a 1980 Mercedes-Benz once owned by Hollywood star Lauren Bacall. The women are also entitled to $2 million in legal fees. The Trump campaign still owes him. And so Rudy Giuliani has one week to turn over most of what he owes to Moss and Freeman. The judge has not decided yet whether Giuliani will be allowed to keep a Palm Beach, Florida condominium that he also owns. A hearing about that property is scheduled for next week. We'll let you know what happens. For now, live in the Satellite News Center, Wendy Corona, Channel 2 Action News.